Welcome to the Fit Diet Podcast, where we'll learn the processes and habits of healthy eating, exercise, and lifestyle. Food for fitness, if you will, with the founders of MindMuscleMemory.com, Miles Betcha and Greg Rando. Miles' expertise with programs and coaching have led him to training thousands of clients all over for the last two decades with enormous success, and he's dedicated himself to transforming the course of fitness and health for many. And his partner Greg has his own unique skill set as a professional in the world of bodybuilding, with the ability to teach and inspire all he comes in contact with. Join me now as we discover the secrets of sticky fibers and proper habits and how to implement the mind-muscle memory lifestyle. Welcome in and thanks for listening. And welcome to the Fit Diet Podcast for another episode with Miles Betcha and Greg Rando. You know them as the founders of mindmusclememory.com and we are going to be speaking this week, gentlemen, if I'm not mistaken, on the key to your next victory, the M3 roadmap. And as we know, and we all know, when we're trying to get to a destination, it's paramount that we have a roadmap, a plan. And repeatable transformation is continual transformation, repeatable transformation. So Mr. Miles Bedja, the co-founder of M3 and the MindMuscleMemory.com group, why don't you start us off and uh, share with us the key to your next victory a little bit about the m3 roadmap if you would sir please sure you know we all we like to really have it and uh, greg and i have uh, ourselves sometimes look at uh, what we go through as as uh, stages and steps to uh to transformation as you say and and we we may feel sometimes that uh uh you know, we get to a certain place where we look at, we want progress. Now we say, okay, now what can I do now? What can I, so there's not really, you know, and of course our, our we have a life that we go through. We have some different uh, things that go on in throughout our life with uh, maybe a, a move or, you know, work or different things. But really when we look at our physical conditioning and our, in our roadmap, we want to see that transformation continue, continue. You know, like maybe our cardiovascular functioning is really, really good because we happen to be in a mode of like that was our goal and our and our four step, three steps to get to that goal is you know improve on that cardiovascular. Like we've been working on lately, flexibility for ourselves, a lot of our clients, and mm-hmm. hitting certain areas that just seem to be tight and and is like a steps to get through that to be see that success. But then we're like, well. Now that we're more flexible, we can move a little bit better and have a little bit more and add that into the next phase of the transformation, the next roadmap on that transformation, if that, if that makes it a little bit clearer. There's always things that you can you know, work towards an improvement on and then reevaluate and then make, an, uh, make a next step towards continuation of that. Uh, so, so not so really continuous transformation. Continual, yeah, continual process. So, never really being satisfied, um, and and it's like the goal and the victory shouldn't be the end in and of itself. They should be launching pads for further success to to even bigger victories, right, Greg? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Bobby. And we we've seen this, Miles, and I've seen this a lot over the years, uh, and not only our. Um, fitness center um but but in the uh in the facilities that we may may uh work out of where you know a lot of times we're with individuals or we're beginning programs with individuals that you may not typically see in the gym or may not um typically go to a gym for for a lot of reasons you know take a take a uh, an overweight woman for example you know to go into uh, to go into a gym and not really knowing what to do or where to start, um, and being in a you know somewhat of an extreme um, beginning position, is 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 a big mountain to climb. You know it's it, it, it you know so but we, what we want to convey is to, is M three coaches um, and trainers to these individuals that <clears throat> we can we can identify our goal and we can define a series of small steps and stages um, to, to get to a goal. So 
in a sense, it's not really a, a big mountain, but a series of small hills to, 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 to get over. And, um, you know, along the way with um, improvement, there are rewards to help encourage um, 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 continued uh, reinforcing con- continued uh, continuing behaviors. Yeah, what's that, Miles? They say, how do you, how do you eat an elephant? <laughs> One bite at a time. <laughs> exactly. So, you you know, that's really good. That's a great way to put it, Greg. You know, deconditioned folks are the... Yeah. Uh, not the exception. They're more the rule in our society. And but you know that's not the then that's not what people want for themselves. They find themselves in a deconditioned state. So you know it may be epic in terms of a um, a, a goal or you know to to to, to see themselves uh, in, in a body and 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 a and a body composition that makes them happy. So by taking the roadmap, by taking it and breaking it down into bite sized steps. Uh, it becomes much more um, attainable. Yeah, that's excellent. I think that's so cool. For yeah. Sure. Well, and we and that's true. Sure that, definitely. Yeah, go ahead, Miles. Huh? No, we definitely see it so uh, a lot, and, and it just and it, that's why we say it's the continuation of transformation. Because even even no matter kind of what level you may be on. As you go along, I, you know, I referenced in our own workouts, our own conditioning, our fitness capacity, but, um, but if somebody's new starting out, but they're a certain age or they're younger and they just start out, you know, fresh, it doesn't really matter. No matter, you can be a, a, you know, a college athlete, but yet you still see yourself in some type of continual transformation, being open to that, that personal growth and being, you know, capable of, of a, obtaining obtaining something that is a little bit more than yourself than you certainly have it in yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think um, you right here too is uh, you know finding a routine. Routines are so important. Um, when you find that routine and something that is simple enough to repeat, season in and season out, that's vital to to, con- to make it you know, last and have continuous transformation, Greg. It's a, um, it's a lifestyle. And, and we find it, like you say, Miles, in the clubs and the fitness centers that we all train in, uh, youngsters alike, as well as older deconditioned folks, um, you know, they, 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 they give up over a short period of time because they don't have that roadmap, a victory Roadmap, and I think mindmusclememory.com. If we get on over there to the web page and we check it out, there's some uh, vital information that speaks directly to this topic today. That makes it easy, makes it digestible, and makes it fun. I mean, let's be honest. Who wants to do something that's a drudge, right? So there's there's steps involved, Greg. There's uh, you know four or five steps, three or four steps that uh, we want to take and um, determining the goal. First things first, right? So what do we want to do? We want to identify a, a goal and, and get inside somebody's head, find out where they want to be, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, as we've all heard cliche, uh, uh, plan to, uh, fail the plan, then you plan to fail, all right? That's how it goes. Yes. If you fail mm-hmm. to plan, then mm-hmm. you'll, you'll mm-hmm. plan to fail. So it's, it's true that, that having a game plan or an approach to victory is key. And, and within that, we have to establish, we have to envision our goals. We have to establish our goals and they have to be clear goals. You know, we don't, you know, getting healthy or losing weight, those are more vague type of goals. So we want to define our goal and then we want to take small steps. If we want to lose weight, let's say that we want to, you know, increase our fiber intake. Um, maybe we want to lose five pounds in the, in, in the month of, um, August or we want to start incorporating routine cardiovascular workouts uh, workout schedule and um, it's true these are all these are all um, small steps to help us um, to help us clearly reach reach our goal um, you know if we just kind of if, if we're just you know for example you know I, I know this this guy, Jim, good, good kid. He comes in. He really never worked out before, but he came in. He, he wants to get all muscular. He wants to compete eventually in fitness competition. But he, he comes in the gym and he really, he looks around and watches people and tries to gather information that'll help him, you know, with his workouts. But, you know, he inevitably came up to me and he said, Greg, I'm not, you know, I'm getting stronger anymore. You know, I 
I got stronger initially, but I'm not plateaued. getting stronger anymore. And with that, I see plateaued a little. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and it's really because, you know, you, you kind of, you know, I, I thought to myself, it'd be good if he had, um, you know, if he had a clear goal, he, he, you know, a more a clear, a more clear goal than just wanting to compete someday because you can end up spinning your wheels. And what I, you know, what I want to see him do is try to learn about his body, try to identify positions, incorporate his core. So then he'll begin to g- gather strength and muscle coordination and involvement, which will, which will, you know, Miles and I see all the time translating um, the the mind part of mind muscle memory give give you self confidence, self esteem, mm-hmm. and the you know that all that confidence, yeah. self confidence, but also the confidence to go in the gym and execute movements and get the most out of them. So then you can progress, you can establish, uh, you know, uh, or you can work on other steps to de- to help you achieve mm-hmm. that goal. That way, in that time period that you've uh, define that goal. You can then you can then have an endpoint, um, which will be motivating, and then also another starting point where you can focus on other goals going forward that are going to help pro- propel you to the next level. So it is a sort of a a step by step approach to clearly uh, uh, to accomplishing your well thought out goals. Now at mindmusclememory dot com. As working with working with some of the staff there and the coaches, this is something that you guys provide, um, you know. And and I would encourage people to to really inquire to that because look, after all, we cannot hit a target that we cannot see. And I love and I appreciate Greg how you come up with examples of you know, hey, this guy walked into the club today, and um, because people can relate, right? I mean, who can't relate to the first time we've ever walked into a club and we're so intimidated, and we 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 attack right. it and we hit a plateau, we fail to hit our uh, our objectives and our benchmarks, and then we just fall by the wayside and become what one of those deconditioned folks. So, yeah, Miles, it's crazy, um, mm-hmm. but boy, it, it's so true it and is. so paramount to have that roadmap. Yeah, it, it is. And they, um, as Greg was speaking about the, um, you know, the stages, it reminded me of um, how, you know, when we would, it, it's no different than when we were in our program, say, for um, uh, educational studies. So we're at, uh, we want to get through a course that is part of our program degree. So we want to achieve that degree, of course, right? right. But we have a, a three-month course to take that the teacher, the professor, hands us an, instil- an instruction, which is a roadmap to get through that three months that if we can read the book and we can handle this uh, you know, uh, dedicated assignment and then a project and then a, a paper and then a, you know, a series of things, which we uh, have, we, we know what we have to do to get those accomplished, then we can end that uh, three months with that roadmap that they provided. Great, right? Like a, a good, uh, we learned a lot because we did the project, we did the, 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 all, those, all these parts, we read the book, and, but we end up with this successful outcome. And what do we do when we hit that, the end of that and we get the grade? That's a good grade point average. We're like, yes, that adds on to my grade point average. We're happy. We reward ourselves. Right. And we say, okay, now we're going to get into the next program that, that we have to take in this next uh, one that we're going to go three months. They're going to give us a roadmap. So, so, you know, that's what we, you know, we've, we've done and we wanted for uh, those around us, but also ourselves because it, it heightens the mind part of it. It heightens your con, like you said, your your confidence. Yes. It heightens so many things because, hey, oh, Greg, hey, Greg gave me a roadmap that if I increase this better and get my numbers better with uh, dietary fiber and sticky fiber throughout this next couple of months, and I do these workouts better with my core, and I get my cardio to where my I'm in a better position for posture with my cardio, and I feel stronger. Boy. That means my body changed. My my muscles went up. My digestion's better. This so that's that roadmap is that you know similar thing. We've gotten these successes before, but we just this is a thing that not a lot of people have provide a roadmap in the beginning for you for the month for the three months rather. So. Yeah, and you know the roadmap mm-hmm. too, Miles. You know if you have a plan in place 
I think it allows you to enjoy the journey because you know where the destination is ultimately going to be, be going. It gives you, a, a, okay, if I just follow the plan, okay, there's going to be setbacks and ups and downs, but I can really enjoy the journey. And the other part about mm-hmm. what, what you're saying is so true where like when you hit a, when you hit a goal, it's almost a launching pad for the next. Getting back to your uh, analogy mm-hmm. with university and, and your courses uh, to attain a certain degree. Well, at the end, it's really not the end, right? It's called the commencement, which is the be- mm-hmm. the beginning. Like that, yeah. That's the beginning. So you think mm-hmm. at the end of university or at the end of high school, you know, oh, I'll never read another book. No, no, you just graduated. That's the commencement. That's the beginning. So I, I just really, en- I really like the analogy yeah. of, of the roadmap and, uh, the, you know, the, the clarity of the goals that, you know, being able to hit a target because we can see it, guys. It's really cool, Greg. Yeah. And it goes back to that word sustainable too, that I always like to throw in there when we're talking about, um, you know, the, the eating mm. plan here at Mind Muscle Memory with the, with the gelatinous makeup and how the foods just sustain your, your physical, emotional energy, your blood sugar. And, 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 and the same thing with, um, with, with learning any, achieving any, um, level of success and anything, but here we're talking about fitness and it's just sustainability. We want to learn along the way what the tools, uh, um, what, tools are necessary to help us uh, continue to improve on um, what we're doing to, to set um, more sophisticated and elevated goals for ourselves along the way. And, um, you know, the, these, uh, this approach to having small attainable steps is just going to add to that sustainability instead of, you know, you know, burnout. You can see somebody come in the gym like gangbusters and in three months he's gone, never to return. I mean, yeah. We want we want people to learn, understand, implement, be confident, and get the rewards and benefits of this. And and Miles and I have seen it. We used to discuss it at the end of a day. We we have, you know, sixty, seventy, eighty year olds that come in not knowing what's going to happen to them. Just that hopefully somebody's going to take care of me and help me get strong. And in due time, I mean, these people are just, they know the names of the machines. They're, right. They have their favorites. They're getting to them. They're setting their position and muscles to fatigue. And you can just see it in them, the, the confidence and um, the, just, you know, the, they're in their expressions, how, how uh, fulfilled they are with their ability to, um, get strong, be strong, know what to do to maintain that level of strength. And that's, that's going to often be an area of their life that, um, that if they've never, um, achieved those successes, um, you know, um, it's, it's something that a lot of people really value and, and, and are able to, um, they're, they're able to really carry on, implement and utilize is, is life goes on. And it's just, it's just, again, an investment in, into our health and helping to improve our quality of life. It all, it all goes together. Yeah. Integrates, integrates. Yeah. I think it, it carries over into, yeah. uh, that, and it bleeds over into, you know, everything, um, you know, uh, yeah. rela- relationships, a routine work. And- yeah, routine. It's key. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent stuff, fellas. Um, so we got to determine a goal of what we want to achieve. And it's so paramount um, to to set up those building blocks, those steps to get the victory, to realize that once we get there, that's not the end all be all. That's the beginning of sustainability. And sustainability bleeds and overlaps into confidence and self-esteem, which enables us to hit the next goal. And, um, you know, it's funny because I heard a saying, Miles, it says the journey is more fun or more important than the inn, meaning we want to head out to the inn or the hotel or the destination. But the journey many times is that much more fun fun and enjoyable. And by doing this in such a simple, simplified way, the M3 Victory Roadmap, we can enjoy the ride. And I think that's the key to keeping people engaged. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the ride, meaning the, the, like, the feel when you're doing your, um, uh, your workout routine, you, this, yes. you know, whether you're doing a, sessions, a certain yes. stretch, stretch yes. routine for the session or your, 
you're you're getting your wind in your lungs because yes. you're you're doing a nice cardio workout, whatever it's going to be. You you're you can settle into that and feel good about it. But in the, one of the big things that I, I am trying to highlight for others, uh, because we you know we sort of already know it, but it's that a couple hours later, you know, a couple hours later, how do you feel? What what kind of um, uh, what can you tell yourself a few hours later about what you did for that time that you spent? Even if you only spent 25 minutes on the bike or, or 45 minutes on, uh, on, on weights and stretching, whatever it is, you know, you just ask yourself, how do you feel a couple hours later? Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of that whole enjoyment. It, 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 I, I, I see it last. It's a lasting enjoyment. So not only when you're doing it, in other words, but, but even, you know, afterwards feeling that satisfaction feeling your blood had moved feeling your muscles had tightened and you you have those great chemicals we know our and, endorphins our yeah <laughs> endorphins yeah. yeah that's so true and and um you know with all that self discipline and you know let's face it you know we're making sacrifices we're depriving on certain things it, it, miles how important is it to reward ourselves after each stage you know, once we've made an, an accomplishment and completed that, you know, what's the importance of, of, of actually taking a step back? And, and not, you know, there's another saying, too, before you answer that question. I heard it say stated one time. It says, don't linger too long at the table of success. Develop another appetite and get hungry. So once we've achieved a goal, we don't want to linger too long. But we do want to reward ourselves. Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, as we said, so many times we just say, you know, we help people recognize their rewards because sometimes they're in that, in that, you know, uh, they feel they're always on this climbing. So we try to make it that, okay, you're going to have to get here. And then once you get here, let's look at, you know, what, what would be something that you've sort of been putting off and that you know you do on a regular basis. I like to, I like to myself highlight it as the thing that you might do on a regular basis, like, you know, getting yourself a new pair of athletic footwear or even a comfortable, uh, something comfortable to wear on your feet, right. something that you, or, or maybe, you know, it can be obviously something that you see as well, like, um, you know, something that you might put on a, put on your shelf. We like to, to do a lot of things like that because it's, it's when you walk away with anything. I mean, I've, uh, as and Greg would, would highlight it as well, it's, it's something of when you can hold a hand, some, put something in your hand and be like, this, this is the fruits of my labor type of thing. Yeah. And, and, and look at it and say, that's because I did that work. Like you said, it, when you get a commencement um, walk in commencement, you still you get this piece of paper. It can even be a certificate. I mean, it doesn't. It, you know, I've done, we've done that a lot for people as well. Just the certificate of completion um, of a challenge or a process, or whatever, to show that they completed something. Something you can put in your hand and say, "Wow, that's that was my work. Did I got my fruits of my labor?" And and now, like you said, now okay. Now, you know, I can improve on that. I can move on to the next stage of my 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 av- my, my process here. So, Yeah, that's, that's so key. It's real important. It's very important. Greg, how do you reward mm-hmm. yourself? I, <laughs> I, I know that you um, you personally, uh, and both of you fellas, you personally train. But um, say you have a target and a goal. As an example, you're, 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 say you're so many weeks out from a competition and you're really diligent and you're paying the price you're sacrificing, you're looking to hit that, that mark. What do you do to, to, to step back and say, you know, let short of a a certificate or what do you do to reward yourself? Well, um, you know, it all kind of starts, um, with the plan for me and, um, having that repeatable, uh, proven plan to know a lot of times, um, when and how I can reward myself. But, um, you know, you and I talk about this, uh, we all do often, is how a lot of times, you know, um, the rewards along the way are more than just, you know, uh, a cheap meal or, um, you know, um, a, a day off from, or a cold beer or something. It's, it's, it's a lot of times it's just recognizing those those changes or those improvements 
uh, in our performance or in our results. And a lot of times those in, the, those in themselves are very rewarding. And we, we see it with our clients. You know, they start to uh, develop muscle control. They, they're starting to not, you know, feel the pain and discomfort they used to feel. They're starting to, um, you know, be super efficient with their, their exercise to the point where they can't wait to pile up workouts behind them to, to, to just see the improvements down the road. They just can't wait to see the progress and, and, and wait to, you know, see those compounded improvements down the road. Um, and you know, weight loss too, you start to lose a couple pounds, you know, you, you get a nice healthy approach to a weight, weight loss plan and it, um, it starts to work and we're encouraged and, you know, the weight comes off and we start to see, see things that we haven't seen in a long time. So there are all different ways, ways, um, of gaining rewards. Um, but you know, for me, a lot of times it's, uh, you know, and the, and the things we we like to uh, have in our diet uh, that we sacrifice, those are great things, but I'm constantly rewarded by the changes we can make and the improvements um, we can and make, you know. Mm-hmm. I thought you were going to say yeah. that. I, I, just, I just predicted it because I can totally relate. <laughs> I think that's a reward in and of itself, you know, the, the feeling good. And, and again, Miles, I think that confidence and the self-esteem, you know, gained through sustainable uh you know, uh, just deliberate routine. It, it just, mm. It's so very gratifying. Well, you have, are listening, as always, to uh, the MindMuscleMemory.com group with founders Miles Betcha and his partner Greg Rando, the M3 process. If you're still having a hard time knowing where to start, and let's face it, we all do from time to time, or if you're feeling stuck and unsure of what steps you should take, Well, by all means, contact MindMuscleMemory.com today. One of the M3 team partners will contact you and help guide you so that you can start finding your success today. Guys, I think a roadmap is key, whether we're taking a vacation, a long weekend, or if we're looking to uh, have find success in our fitness goals and and achieve them. um, You provide that, uh, you know, the roadmap, the M3 Victory Roadmap. Thank you for... uh, for, for furnishing that uh, information. It's so readily available. If people would just click on that site, they'll get a firsthand experience and deal with one of the M3 staff, maybe even you, Miles, or, or you, Greg. So that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Great, yeah. Well, you've been listening. We're here for, we're yes, here for them. You are here for them. I tell you what, you, you know, you, I can't shake you, Greg. Mm-hmm. You're, you're like a, uh, I don't know what you're like. <laughs> <laughs> especially, if, especially if you there's food around, I'll be there. <laughs> okay, I see where the reward really is. Your heart's there. Okay, I got that. <laughs> That's fantastic, guys. Well, you've been listening to another episode of the Mind... I'm sorry, the Fit Diet Podcast. And until next time, we want to remind you to be safe and take good care. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.